Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Stuttgart Library. The weird and wonderful of the internet. Let's have a look at this place. How many levels that? Let's see the weird and wonderful of Stuttgart has to offer. Twenty-four hours in Stuttgart. We flew from Manchester to Amsterdam, from Amsterdam to Stuttgart, and we were in the Emilio Hotel in Stuttgart, which is a great location. Very modern, very beautiful. As you can see, I'm just having a little wander around when we first got there. Now we did have pretty much twenty-four hours full in Stuttgart, so we got there late um, in the afternoon. So we were so tired because our flight from Amsterdam to Stuttgart was delayed and it was very windy. But look at this beautiful hotel room. Oh, the camera work. Now in this video you will see camera work from myself and the current wife. Oh, she does a, some marvellous work. But yeah, it's a beautiful room. All high tech and it had this great um, rooftop like chill out area, you know I want to say. Um, so, in the next clip you'll see me, oh there's a little wave to me, did you see me in the mirror then, or did you catch me? I was clothed, don't worry. So yeah, so this is the rooftop chill out area, which we pretty much on the last day uh, took advantage of, because uh, we had a few hours to kill and we were tired, we've done a lot of walking around. This is beautiful, a little bar to help yourself and some coffee, tea making facilities, a telly, just a nice chill out area. Uh, beautiful tiles, like me again in the mirror, oh spot me, hello big wave, wave, oh I waved, right so because it was very windy, I, I was like talking to camera and the sound was shocking, I was basically talking about, we're supposed to go and see Lewis Capaldi, uh, which was on the Tuesday night, unfortunately Monday morning we found out that he cancelled due to having bronchitis, so we were a bit disappointed, but we thought, Do you know what, we're in Stuttgart, we love Germany, Let's make the most of it. Now this is about seven o'clock in the morning, um, and I'm like wide awake, ready to go and start adventure time. Which is what me and my wife call just going and see as much as we can in a short space of time. Um, great location, the Emilio Hotel. Um, the name of the clock behind me, I have no idea. I do apologise. Answers in the comments. If you want to have a little cheeky answer, but in this video, I will be putting the prices of how much like the Porsche Museum is, and, and some hints and tips. If you want to stick around to the end of the video, you will see some uh, bloopers and just some extra footage. But this is Stuttgart. Stuttgart is a population of 635,000 people. Which is a hundred thousand less than Sheffield. Now, why am I telling you this? Well, in Sheffield we have six. That's it. Six train stations in the whole of Sheffield. In Stuttgart, seventy-two. That's underground, overground. It's so easy. Every five ten minutes, there's a train going somewhere. Um, and everywhere we went in this video, we caught a train. Trains and little scooters, tiers. I highly recommend getting Tier as an app. It's easy to use. It'll set to your bank every time you use it. It's a couple of euros. I think we spent probably 20 euros in total uh, in space like 24 hours. But we use it to zip along everywhere in Stuttgart uh, when we get off a train. We just cover more ground a lot quicker. So good. It's so easy to use. Don't be scared. Welcome to the channel, I'm Leroy, also known as Yorkshire Fun. Why am I whispering? Well, I'm in Stuttgart Library. Look at this place. This is what happens when you go to Germans with my key furniture. They go wild. Museum. It's about 20 minutes from Stuttgart Central on the train. As you can see, everywhere around is composed of their artworks, 9-11s, from the classic city, both from there, this is the main entrance, rent me. Come on, have a walk. Oh, the wife's gone wild, 
Now this is some drone footage, uh, see in the description below for it, but yeah, this is what bucket place for me. I've always wanted to go to the Porsche Museum or Porsche. Uh, I don't want to spoil it by showing you everything, I won't do that. Um, but yeah, 10 euros to get in, and then if you've got a train ticket, 5 euros half price. Oh yes, saving in your pocket. Also, they prompted us, they asked us, do we have a train ticket? And also you get audio listening devices and you get that. You get a cheeky little landlord for free at the end. You don't get no for free these days, but there you got a free landlord. Lovely location. It's about 20 minutes from Stuttgart Centre to get to the Porsche Museum, which is about a 10 minute walk uh, from the station itself. On the way, uh, we stopped off in a little... German cafe for some breakfast because it was like nine o'clock in the morning and I was hungry. I'm always hungry, but yeah, stunning place. Got to see the unicorn uh, Porsche 959, which absolutely blew me away. So we're at the Porsche Museum. <clears throat> so we're at the Porsche Museum. Now, these are little tips for you to come. I don't want to spoil it by showing you everything in here, what's the point? But as you see from my previous videos on my ultimate green dream garage, I found the unicorn. Not one, but two unicorns, which is a Porsche 959, which is my ultimate Porsche. Look at it, it's stunning. Let's go see some more Porsches. So just a short stop, uh, like two stops in Stuttgart on the train. It's about 20 minutes away from Porsche Museum, so it's up the side of town. It's not the start building, but it's the Mercedes Benz Museum. So I saw the unicorn at the Porsche Museum, the 959, where well, I see my unicorn, the Mercedes, which is the Goldwing. Let's go have a look. This place is massive. Now you need to give yourself at least four hours just to do the main museum, which is what you can see in front of you. There's also next door, like directly next door is a massive dealership, the Mercedes dealership itself. Um, this place is beautiful, it goes from the very first Mercedes right up to future proofing and concept cars for Mercedes. But the engineering on this place is out of this world, it looks beautiful. Inside is amazing as you can see from this clip. Oh, it's just a lovely place and you also get to see Formula 1 cars if you're a fan of Formula 1. Or if you just want the history of Mercedes and everything that they've contributed. Uh, to motorsports, to motor manufacturing, it's just a lovely place to be. And there's cafes, uh, we can grab some to eat. So I'm here in the Mercedes Benz Museum shop in the toddler section. Don't know why I'm here, but I saw that they've got some actual. How much is a Mercedes Benz? Pram. 455 euros. So I found the second car of my dream garage, if you've seen the video, which is the Goldwing, which is just down there. <coughs> just have a look at this place. Engineering at its best. That's what I love about Germany. Look at the museum. Look at. Yeah. Walk through the Mercedes gallery. There's a little deli to my right. Don't sell Red Bull for some reason. A great place to be. It was starting to rain outside, um, so we grabbed some drinks, 
and just had a wander around. We'd done the main museum, went and looked at the dealership next door, but it was time to move on to our next location, which is a short train trip away, as always. It took about 20 minutes, and it was the tower. The Stuttgart TV Tower was our next destination. That's the one. Oh, it was so windy, and the footage I got on the day, um, I couldn't use most of the audio, as you will hear. Um, it was so, so windy. And uh, let's just say the wife wasn't too impressed with uh, how windy and uh, the safety situation up there. So we're 210 metres up, top of the Stuttgart TV tower, and it's incredibly windy. Now, it doesn't look windy, but watch this. As you can see, very windy. Now I took this picture on literally about 30 seconds later on the worst part of the corner. This is the view from the restaurant, which is one stored, uh, one story down, uh, where we had some coffees. You could feel it actually moving, so it made me feel a little bit sick. I'm not really into, I don't mind going high. I've climbed City Armoured Bridge. Um, I've stood on the glass panels outside uh, the Eiffel Tower, hundreds of meters up, but no, I did not like it moving. This is a little um, graphic, but tells you which way you're going on the train and your next stop, very easy to use. Museum of Illusion, great fun. It is bang opposite, and I mean straight opposite the Stuttgart Library at the beginning of the video. Welcome to the Museum of Illusion in Stuttgart. Death to feel like Bruce Lee and Enter Dragon. Welcome to the Infinity Room. That's all I mean, don't worry. I recommend this place if you've got kids as well. There's lots of things to interact with and play with and puzzles and illusions. It is really quite a fun place to be. Uh, my wife didn't like this illusion. It made her feel sick. That is a sandwich from the morning, which is a German speciality. Uh, if you know where it is, tell me. So our last night, we used the tears, as always, shoot off to a beautiful tapas restaurant called Jose and Hoffine. Absolutely amazing, cost about 100 euros. And then the next morning went into Stuttgart Market. More if you want to buy some products. There were some cannolis and arachinis. And then we sadly went to the airport. Oh, what's that, more than pig? Bang outside the airport, I don't mind if we do. Yes, we couldn't resist it. Why not? It's a beautiful Moven pig. So I've caught the train from Stuttgart Centre to the airport, which is, took probably about 25 minutes. It's cost seven euros, it's cheap as chips, it's convenient. Last stop, can't go wrong. Enjoy, don't forget, please like and follow. Bye. Welcome to the outtakes and more information, yes. Here we go, here's me relaxing in Stuttgart Airport. This is the famous artist in Amsterdam Airport. And this is me trying mezzo mix. Well, let's see what this is about then. Orange and Coca-Cola. All right. Well, welcome to the channel, we're in Stuttgart, we're in the Porsche Museum. Don't forget to like and subscribe, new video every Monday on the channel. More times you hit subscribe, more chances that I'm going to get this car in real life one day. Yes, I don't think I'm going to be a food reviewer, but look at this, oh, stunning, oh. And uh, some uh, me getting things wrong. top tips for 24 hours pretty much in Stuttgart. Here's some top tips for 24 hours in Stuttgart. Stop laughing, Nick. Here at the Mercedes Museum, we're going to go hopefully see the 2022 Constructors F1 tile. Oh, I forgot they didn't get one, did they? Hey, bird! <laughs> 
and that was just for my uh, wife at the end because uh, she's a massive Mercedes fan so I had to get the cheeky uh, Red Bull joke in thank you as always for watching thanks bye